Hey everybody and welcome back or welcome to one of my videos. My name is Lauren Porter and you're watching Quarters with Porter. So for today's video, we are back with some more Falcons content. We're going to be talking about the 2022 Falcons season prediction. So NFL season is on its way and I am so excited for football seasons to come back. This year, I am finally going to be going to my very first Falcons game ever. It's a shame I've been a Falcons fan forever and I've never gone to a game, but this year that changes. So before we talk about what the Falcons are going to be doing this year, let's talk about how they did last year. So last year, they finished their season with a record of 7-10, and 10, and they also finished third in the NFC South. The Falcons have not made the playoffs since 2017. That was a whole five seasons ago. And unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be the season for them to make it either, but I do think a playoff season is on the way. This is going to be the Falcons' second season under Arthur Smith. I'm super excited to see what he's going to be doing with this young team this year. He did not disappoint when he came and stepped in after the Dan Quinn firing, and so I'm ready to see how he's going to do this year as head coach. This is a rebuilding season for the Atlanta Falcons. As we all know, we just lost our franchise quarterback, Matt Ryan. We lost Julio Jones a couple seasons ago. Players that were on the team of the 2017 Super Bowl are no longer with us, but we are definitely in rebuilding mode. So since the Falcons are in rebuilding mode, I don't have super, super high expectations for the season this year, but I am ready to see how they're going to do, how our new quarterbacks, Marcus Mariota and Desmond Ritter are going to do. And I know Kyle Pitts and AJ Terrell are going to have outstanding seasons this year. Got a bunch of new rookies. And if you guys didn't watch my rookie recap video, go watch that. I talked about each rookie and what they're going to be bringing to the Atlanta Falcons. So let's go ahead and get into this year's schedule. So this year we have 18 weeks of football. The Falcons will be playing 17 games this year. They have a pretty tough schedule this year. So let's go ahead and get into week one. Just the Falcons look, week one, we will be playing our rivals, the New Orleans Saints, at home. I will for sure be at this game and I will for sure be vlogging it. So be sure to subscribe so you guys know when I drop that vlog. The Saints are not as good as the team as they used to be. So for week one, I say the Atlanta Falcons can take this win. I would absolutely love to see them take this win from the New Orleans Saints. I mean, we're gonna be at home, first game of this season. The Saints aren't as good as they used to be. They don't have their star quarterback anymore. So I think that the Atlanta Falcons can definitely take this win in week one versus the New Orleans Saints. And since the Saints are our rival, I would absolutely love to see us beat them dirty birds over the Saints every time. So for week two, the Atlanta Falcons are playing the reigning Super Bowl champs. They are playing the Los Angeles Rams. Just our luck to be playing the Los Angeles Rams week two into our season. So unfortunately, I do think the Atlanta Falcons are going to lose this game. Let's just be realistic with ourselves. I just don't see us beating the Rams. They are coming off of a championship win and they are a solid team. So I think week two, we will take a loss. For week three, we will be playing the Seahawks, and the Seahawks and the Falcons are definitely kind of in the same boat right now. We both lost our franchise quarterbacks, with the Seahawks losing Russell Wilson and the Atlanta Falcons losing Matt Ryan, so we're both kind of trying out new quarterbacks. With both teams rebuilding, I think that the Atlanta Falcons definitely have a chance to win this game, so I'm going to go with them in week three and have them taking the win over the Seattle Seahawks. For week four, we have the Browns versus the Falcons. And a little fun fact, my mom is from Cleveland, so she's a huge Browns fan. So every single time the Browns and the Falcons play. So this one is kind of tricky for me because Deshaun Watson is the new quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. But there's no telling if he's going to be suspended for a couple games this season, if he's going to be out the whole season. Nobody quite knows yet. So this one is kind of a toss up for me. But I'm just going to go ahead and assume Deshaun Watson is going to be playing. But because I'm going to go with that, I'm going to say the Atlanta Falcons are going to lose this game. But if Deshaun Watson is suspended and won't be playing this game, I think the Atlanta Falcons can definitely win. But we're going to assume he is. So let's say the Atlanta Falcons are going to take an L in this game versus the Browns. So for week five, we are playing another team in our division. And the Atlanta Falcons will be playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Team Tom Brady. We all know Tom Brady is the quarterback of that team. So beating the Bucs is going to be hard. And then this is a division game as well. So you know the Bucs are not going to want to lose. 
So for this game, I'm going to have to take another Falcons loss and say that the Falcons are not going to beat the Buccaneers. Week six, we are back at home and the Atlanta Falcons will be playing the 49ers. I have a friend who is such a huge 49ers fan. Shout out to you, Anaya. I think that the Falcons can beat the 49ers, so I'm going with the Falcons in this game. Week seven, we will be facing the Cincinnati Bengals, which equals Joe Burrow, which equals a loss for us. So because of the Bengals roster with them having such a great quarterback, I'm going to have to go with us taking another loss in this game. The Bengals just also face the Los Angeles Rams in the Super Bowl. So I'm going to say the Falcons are going to take another loss in this game. So for week eight, we have another division game. We are going to be playing the Panthers. I think that the Panthers and Falcons are a pretty even team, but I think the Falcons are the better team over the Panthers. I think that the Panthers are the worst team in the NFC South and that they will have the worst record out of all the teams in that division. I don't think that the Baker Mayfield trade is going to make a big difference for the Panthers. So I think the Falcons are going to take the win over the Panthers in week eight. Week nine, we are facing the Chargers. It's going to be another L because the Chargers are one of the best teams in the NFL, in my opinion. But the Falcons are so young and still rebuilding and getting their team back right. I think that they cannot beat the Chargers at this time. So I think we are going to take another L this week. Week 10, we will be facing the Panthers again, and I think that we will beat them again. I don't see the Falcons losing to the Panthers. They shouldn't lose to the Panthers. Also, since we're playing them the week before this, we're kind of going to know how it feels to play, to go up against them. So I think that we'll take the win again this week. Week 11, we are going against the Chicago Bears, and I think the Falcons can for sure take the win versus the Bears. The Bears are not very good at all. So I think the Falcons is the better team here and that they are going to take the win this week. Week 12, we are going against Washington and I say the Falcons are going to take another win in this game. Week 13, the Falcons will be facing the Pittsburgh Steelers. Little fun fact, after the Falcons, I would have to say the Steelers are probably my favorite NFL team because I absolutely love their coach, Mike Tomlin. But I think the Falcons can possibly win this game. But I'm just going to play it safe and say that the Falcons will lose this week versus the Steelers. Week 14 is a bye week, so just a little rest week for the players. So let's hop into week 15. We are facing our rivals again, the New Orleans Saints. And I think this will be split. Typically, the Falcons win one and the Saints win one. Actually, typically beat the Saints at home. But this year, I'm just going to go ahead and say that they're going to lose this one. I'd love to see them beat them, especially at their own home. But just to keep it safe, I'm going to say they're going to lose this week. Week 16, we are going against the Ravens, which have one of my favorite quarterbacks in the NFL with Lamar Jackson. The Ravens are definitely a solid playoff contender team, so I'm going to say we are taking the loss this week versus the Ravens. Week 17, the Arizona Cardinals. I'm going to have to say this is another playoff contender team, so I think we will take the loss here as well. And then the very last game for the regular season is going to be week 18, and we are facing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers once again. And for this game, it's kind of a toss up because if the Bucs are gonna be playing their best players, I think we'll lose if the Bucs are going to be resting their players since this is week 18 and the playoffs will be coming up. I think that we can win this game. It's really a toss up, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that the Bucs are gonna play their best players. So I'm gonna say that this game is going to be another loss for the Atlanta Falcons. So in the end, I think the Atlanta Falcons are going to be going 6-11 and 11 for the 2022-2023 football season. I have a lot of hope for this young team in that I don't think they're going to be as terrible as everybody thinks they are. I think that 6-11 and 11 is a pretty solid record, especially for a team that's rebuilding. This year, I'm not really too concerned about winning. You know, since the Atlanta Falcons are in rebuilding mode, that's all about getting draft picks. So if we were to be really, really terrible and only win three, four, five games this year, I'm not too, too, too mad because the focus is rebuilding and getting new players onto the team that are going to make us better and you do that through the draft and to get better draft picks you have to lose today's video was just all straight opinion let me know what you guys 
think about how the Falcons are going to do this season. Do you guys think they're going to be super good? Do you guys think they're going to be terrible? Do you guys think they're going to shock the world? I think that they can definitely shock people this year, getting more wins than people are expecting. I am super excited to see how they're going to do this season. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe for more Falcons content from your girl. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!